Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Gemmer coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, Season 3 begins, so let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we've got our first looks at Season 3. So let's get into it. We've just got some footage here of sort of uh, going through and collecting up our first elite, some of our now and later rewards, as well as just our first impressions on it. So obviously, guys, we've got these uh, daily gems here, which we can get from various sources, including uh, the daily login. For me, I'm just going to be uh, saving the majority of my gems just until we sort of get further idea what is the best use for them. So. I mean, we have to open up this player pack, it's forced upon us, but I won't be opening um, any more of these just because I don't think they're worth it at this time. Um, so I will just continue to save the gems, guys, and I do recommend that you guys do the same thing, just because they could be very, very useful in the future. So let's see what we've got here. Here are our overall rewards, guys. So as you know, we did get 189 overall, and I wasn't really expecting the rewards to be all that great and they were very very similar for everyone so we did pull our uh, Pereira as well as an 82 overall center back so absolutely fantastic as well as 470k and 100 now and later point packs um so pretty much the exact same as last season guys and guys just showing you some of the footage from our now and later rewards so we're just going to be showing you our uh, player packs um, so there's no real point in showing you everything else because it takes forever to open these packs guys And you know the majority of people did get these um, So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you mainly the player packs um, as well as the elite player packs and also uh, My opinions on the player overalls there you can see the uh, team hero crests um, So that's absolutely fantastic. Let's get into some of these packs guys and see what we did get um, so as you can see here, nothing all that special, but still, you know, I'm going to be using these cards um, for my team um, as well as, you know, when the market does open, um, they'll definitely be used to be sold. As you can see there, 77 overall, that's actually a really, really good pull. Um, he'll have great value when uh, the market does first come out. So anything sort of, you know, 75 and above is really, really good. Even the lower overall uh, golds, guys, are really, really valuable. As we actually pack 81 overall uh, Adderas there, he's actually got, um, I think, the heal to heal. I used him in beta, and this is, for me, my favorite skill move for a striker. So he'll be good uh, in the first sort of uh, 24 hours for me um, to go through and use him. I won't probably um, keep him. I'll probably try and sell him. Um, we've also got some league points there. Um, so that's very, very interesting. But yeah, I'm not going to be holding on to the elites, guys. Um, just because I feel as though it's probably best to try and sell them. Um, if we don't get the best value for them, we can also always just hold on to them. So it's entirely up to you uh, what you do do. Just showing you um, an array of sort of the other packs. So 50k, this is all just good stuff, guys. You know, I mean, it's all relative to how the season does go um, in terms of like the coins and that. So it does look like sort of that coins will be at a maximum like it was last season. So there's going to be a lot of like high rated uh, prices for things. It's going to be very, very interesting when the market does come out. Um, but moving on to some of these um, further player packs. Let's just see um, what else we do have here. We've got a jumbo coin pack as well, which is 100k. All good, guys. I'm happy that I did complete all the grid as well because at the end of the day, all these little uh, rewards do help. We've got uh, Thomas Lamar here, who is 81 overall. Um, so... I mean, a lot of people are complaining about the overall rewards. I mean, sorry, the, the overall of these cards. And to me, I mean, everybody gets the same cards at the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not putting anyone at a disadvantage. I mean, it probably just indicates to me that the overalls aren't going to be as sort of overblown as what they were last season. Because last season, guys, overall ratings were pretty crazy. You know, they got pretty out of hand pretty quick. Um, so maybe, like, you know... These cards being 80 and 81 overall, whatever it is, um, it's a good sign because it, it could sort of restrict uh, the overall ratings, which at the end of the day is probably better and a bit more realistic. Um, so here we've got another large player pack and just a whole bunch of 72s. Nothing all that special. Um, but let's move into some more of these packs, guys, and then we'll jump into the game and see what else we uh, have got here. We'll probably just do sort of like a brief overview in today's video, and then when we get the market unlocked, we'll... Uh, give you an update on all of our sort of uh, progress 
uh, from there. So just continuing with these packs, we get a small player pack there with a 70 overall. Um, so yeah, these player packs are exactly the same as last season in terms of how many uh, there are. And here's the elite player pack, and we do get RD Rossi. So a decent card, not too bad. I will take that. Not the fastest player, but um, you know, still a solid defensive player, uh, nevertheless. Here we get uh, Felipe Anderson. He's actually a really, really nice card. Um, I did really love his card in season one. Uh, his his card, uh, what was it from the the rivalries? When we had rivalries for all the different leagues, as we actually pulled the 76 overall uh, right mid there. So another really, really good pull, guys. 75s and aboves are very, very good. Here's our large burst attack patch, which does have uh, the skill boost. And continuing on, guys, we're just going to open up a few more. We do get 76 overall El Nene there. So that's actually a decent pull. The Egyptian from Arsenal, 76 overall. Very, very useful. Can we get anything else? Unfortunately not. And just taking on this Ronaldo, guys. And then I think we've got one more elite player pack. 82 overall Ronaldo, and we've got one more uh, elite player pack, which we're just going to open up and see what we do get. And then, guys, we're going to jump into the game and go from there, because I'm not going to show you the rest of these rewards. Everybody got them. We actually pulled 81 overall Gretzka. That's actually a nice pull, guys. He'll be a really, really good card, um, especially early on. Heel to heel. So we did go through and complete uh, the silver campaign here. So let's see who we do get. Who do we get, guys? We get the gems as well, which is good. Uh, 15k, which is always nice. And we actually pack 84 overall on a Mendes. So that's absolutely fantastic, guys. And is this card tradable? It is. So that's huge, guys. That really, really is huge. Um, so obviously my focus going forward and in sort of the next 24 hours is just to get to level 10, um, which by the time I could have already got to um, by the time you're seeing this video. Um, and, you know, just focus on getting that market unlocked because once the market does get unlocked, guys, um, that's going to be great. But there's a 24-hour um, sort of stoppage on the market um, just to allow everybody to get onto the game. Um, so there is a sort of a fair field for everybody. So as you can see here, guys, we've got these verse tech rewards. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about these, to be honest with you, because you have to unlock them and it takes time. It really does remind me of sort of um, many other mobile games where you have to wait time for things to open. I'd much prefer them to be where you can just open them up and that's it. Here we've got the Versatec Pass as well. Um, not 100% convinced on the Versatec rewards at the moment, um, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think about those um, timers on those packs? Let me know in the comment section down below. Here we've got Team of the Week, guys. So we're just going to go through and complete these uh, quests because when we first opened up the game, it was pretty much the, the team of the week had just started or you know the reset was coming for the daily activity so we just need to go through and do this and we actually packed 79 overall cad driver from our first um now and later pack so that's a huge pull guys 79 overall pull is absolutely monstrous um so what i want to do is just go through and complete out some of these activities just so i can get all these rewards and then we'll go from there guys so as you can see very very important to complete these so i'll be right back in a minute and here we are, guys. We're just going through and completing the Team of the Week stuff. So Team of the Week looks very, very interesting. I'm so happy that Team of the Week is back. I've really missed Team of the Week. Um, definitely one of my um, favorite promos last season, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Um, it does look relatively um, sort of straightforward as well. So make sure that you are doing your daily activities, guys, to claim these uh, daily points and get all your daily rewards for the uh, Team of the Week because... It's going to be so, so, so important, guys. In terms of, like, whether or not I'm going to be spending everything at the moment, um, I'm just going to be saving because I'm not I'm not 100% sure on how it all works. But let's just go through and claim up these packs, guys, and see what we do get. So we get some gems, more league points, team of the week points, some coins, and we get a 73 overall card. So we get pretty much two packs every week. And then there's uh, the weekly packs as well. Um, so... Pretty much the same as last season. If you guys remember, we had to play the event plus that um, game against the uh, computer. Um, so we do get a player of the month point there. And we get 79 overall Coleman. So you get player of the month points every time you pack a starter. Um, and that goes towards the, uh, you know, the, the player of the month card at the end of the month. And here are just some of the rewards from the weekly packs. So make sure you're doing that, guys. Very, very important. And guys, just continuing with our campaign. So... By the time you're seeing this video, I probably would have finished um, the gold campaign, but um, I'm just showing you sort of what we're planning on doing from now until when the market opens up. Um, so we're just going to be focusing heavily on getting to level 10. That's our first priority. And then working on 
our first tech um, overall, as well as going through and completing as much of the campaigns as possible, um, because 85 overall is the, the requirement that we need to get to unlock the uh, weekly campaigns, guys. So I'm not sure how difficult that's going to be, but we're just going to keep grinding, guys, and see how it goes. Um, so we will definitely get up to this Taliska. And also, just looking at the daily warm-up stuff, um, this looks very, very interesting. So obviously, on the second day there, if you did miss... Um, when the game first came out, you wouldn't be on the second day because it came out around half an hour before the reset So hopefully you guys did complete that and that's the team for the time being But other than that guys, this is pretty much going to be the end of the video for today Thank you all for everything and peace